Hello, Space Cadets. I'm going to show you how you can link CamTwist to Flash Media Live Encoder to produce a much higher quality stream, including the ability to stream to mobile devices and widescreen or HD streaming to your website. Now, we're going to make a few assumptions before we begin. First off is that you've already downloaded and installed Flash Media Live Encoder. And you can do that by searching Google for Flash Media Live Encoder. And this is a free download from Adobe.com. Grab version 3.1 or later from Macintosh and install it. Second assumption is you've installed CamTwist. Again, search Google for CamTwist, one word, scroll to the bottom, grab version 2.1 for your Macintosh, and install it. Third assumption is that you've got a streaming service provider such as Ustream.tv that does support the Flash Media Live Encoder profile. Now, this should work with anyone who has a Flash Media Live Encoder profile, and I'll show you where to grab it on Ustream, uh, but your streaming service provider does need to give you a certain file. Let me show you where that is on Ustream. So we've logged into our account. We'll click on the account itself. On the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Manage My Show. Now, for my particular account, I've got a bunch of shows over here. You can see I've got my Live ISS video, Space Pod, so forth and so on. Now, I'm going to select the Live ISS video show. I'm going to scroll down again, click on Settings. I'm going to scroll all the way down again, go to the Advanced Settings section, and you'll see there's this Download the Flash Media Encoder XML file. So once again, on Ustream, I'm in my account, Manage Your Show, Pick your show, go to settings, scroll down, open advanced settings, and then download that particular file. And that downloads to my downloads folder. And now what I'm going to show you is if you go to Space Vidcast, we've got this ISS Live section. Right now it's offline. You can see that right there. I want to stream a feed from the International Space Station right here. I want to stream this feed to my website with my logo on it. But I want to do this in a high quality widescreen mode. So I can't use the Flash uh, Media encoder that's built into the browser. I can't just go to Ustream and open up their automatic encoder because that only does the squished little low quality video. I want to do full widescreen video. So first thing we do is we open up CamTwist. And it's very important that you open CamTwist first. Then we go into Cam Twist and Preferences, and we want to make sure that we're able to grab onto all of the cameras that we're going to be using. Because if we open up Flash Media Live Encoder next, and we haven't grabbed onto those cameras, Flash Media Live Encoder will get, grab onto the cameras, and now Cam Twist can't use them anymore. So we click on General. We make sure that the option of Keep Cameras Warm is selected. I've also gets, got this set to 30 frames per second, and I've got it in a widescreen mode. Cam Twist defaults to 320 by 240, but I've set it to 640 by 360. For Space Vidcast HD shows, we set this to 1280 by 720, but you're going to need a very powerful computer. Since this source is pretty low resolution, we'll select 640 by 360. Now, I'm going to open up Studio, but you can do this however you like. I'm going to just click on each one of my sources to make sure that CamTwist is able to grab onto it. So there you can see I grabbed onto my camera, and here's the International Space Station. I'll add my logo to it, so nice round Space Vidcast logo, and I'm going to bring that into program. That's all I really need to do inside of CamTwist, so I'll go ahead and hide CamTwist at this point. Now, because I've grabbed onto my cameras, I'm all ready to go. Next step is to open up Flash Media Live Encoder. This can be found in your Applications directory and then inside of your Adobe folder and then Flash Media Live Encoder. Now, off the bat, the first thing we want to do is that file that we downloaded from Ustream, we want to load that into Flash Media Live Encoder. We want to do that very, very first, because if we do it later, it erases all of our settings, and then it's a complete waste of time. So file, open profile, and we're going to scroll to my home directory, and then I threw it in my downloads folder, and you can see here's the Ustream Flash Media Encoder Live ISS Video.xml. I click open, and it's going to say profile validation problem. Ignore that. Just click OK. And by default, it actually is loading the one and only device that this system can see right now, which is CamTwist. Now, if you don't see video at this point, on your device section here, drop this down and make sure that CamTwist is showing. So we click on that. Now, if you don't see CamTwist as an option, it's possible that CamTwist is not running. So close Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder completely, open CamTwist, click on all your cameras, and then reopen Flash Media Live Encoder. So we've selected CamTwist. The next thing we want to do is go down to Format, it says VP6. We actually want H.264. We want that for two reasons. First, it's going to give me much higher quality encoding, so I'm going to get a much better experience to the end user. The second is this is actually the format that's supported on mobile devices, such as iOS, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad. It's also supported on boxes like Roku, Boxy, and Google TV. So we're going to select H.264. Now, since I'm using Ustream, I do need to do a few more things here. I'm going to click this wrench icon right here. I'm going to make sure that my profile is set to baseline and not to main, so baseline. We're going to select level 
It defaults to 3.1. Now, in selecting level 3.0, we enable the ability to stream to mobile devices, but we disable the ability to stream true high definition 1920 by 720. So be aware of that. You can either stream HD or you can stream to mobile devices on Ustream, but you cannot do both. So we select level 3.0. I'm going to select a keyframe distance of five seconds. That's about right. The next thing is you'll notice in Ustream, I'm sorry, in Cam Twist we had selected a frame rate of 30 seconds, but this currently says frame rate 20, so we're going to make that say frame rate 30. The other thing I want to point out is right down over here, if you look, you can see that the video is squished, it's square, and it's making my round logo kind of oblong. And the reason for that is I'm taking my widescreen content and squishing it into a 320 by 240 window. Well, Flash Media Live Encoder has the ability to stretch that out back out to widescreen. So I'm going to select input size right over here. And because I had selected 640 by 360 inside of Camp Twist, that's what I'll select right here. Now, just to show you, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see I've actually got 1280 by 720 as an option, which would be 720p streaming. And if you've got a really insanely fast computer, you can even do 1920 by 1080. Now, if you've got interlaced cameras, I would actually recommend doing 1280 by 720 and deinterlacing your sources or 960 by 540, which would be the actual deinterlaced resolution. But for this, this particular demo, we're doing 640 by 360 right here. Boom. Now, as soon as I select that, I'm going to size these down so you can see it a little bit better. Check that out. It's actually a widescreen video now that matches what I have in Camp Twist. And I've got a nice circular logo now instead of an oblong one. So it looks great. This is exactly what I wanted. The next thing I want to set is my bitrate right down here. It says 300 kilobits per second. Well, that's not really a whole lot. I'm going to up that to 500. I may even want to go as high as 800. I'm also going to set this output size 320 by 180. It automatically adjusted this to be a widescreen output, but I really want this number to match this number right here. So I want input size and output size to match if I can. So I'm going to type in 640, and you'll see it automatically typed in 360 for me. That's great. That's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to go over to my audio section over here. For this particular audio, most of you would be selecting line in. For my needs, I'm actually doing a, a Soundflower route, so I'm going to select Soundflower 2 channel. Under Format, make sure you select AAC Audio and not MP3. If you're doing mobile streaming, only AAC Audio is supported. If you select MP3, you won't hear any audio on your mobile devices, then they'll wonder what the heck is going on. So select AAC right there. I would recommend for most users selecting Mono Audio so that you don't use all of your bitrate in audio. Sample rate of 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. And I'm going to select a bit rate of 64 kilobits per second. Great, so that all looks fantastic. Now if you look on the right hand side, this has all been automatically filled in for me from that Flash Media file that I downloaded from Ustream. So this part of it's great, except that, and this really only applies to Ustream, on the right hand side, if you look over here, there's this section here called Off Air. What that means is when I start streaming, let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and start. And we'll give it a second to think. It started streaming. You can see it's actually streaming out to the web at about 30 frames a second. But if I scroll over to my website and I click refresh, it still says I'm offline. And the reason I'm offline is because I haven't actually told Ustream that I want to start it. If I wanted to start it, I have to go back to my dashboard, open up the actual streaming utility, and stream from there. That's a complete hassle. So instead of doing that, I'm going to click stop. And I'm going to, on the right hand side here, I'm simply going to delete the word off air. So this text right here, off air, I'm going to get rid of that. Boom. I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. And now I'm going to click start. And now because I've removed the words off air, if I go back to my Space Vidcast video and click refresh, now you'll see I'm actually starting to stream online at 64360 widescreen. So you can actually see this fills the window completely exactly like I wanted it to. I've got my nice round logo here so it's not distorting anything and boom, I'm done. That's all the more I need to do. And the best part is now I'm streaming to mobile devices, Roku, Boxybox, whatever, automatically as well. How awesome is that? That's all you need to do to stream with Flash Media Live Encoder. Now if you want to, you can save this for future reference. I'm going to go ahead and click stop. I'm going to go up to file and then save profile. I'll just overwrite live ISS, so I click Save. So at any time, I can actually go back in, go File, Open Profile, and reload the ISS settings. So it will load all of these settings, my bitrate, my size, all of my device settings, all of my stream settings automatically, and that's all I need to do. And that's how you stream from Cam Twist into Flash Media Live Encoder to your streaming provider of choice.